Once, there was a beautiful mountain nymph named Echo. She was very talkative and got recognized by gods for her ability to communicate well. So many gods loved her company, and one of them was Hera. Hera was the consort of Zeus, but she was also the one Zeus was most irritated with. Zeus has many lovers, and Hera was the one who tormented his romantic involvements. Zeus was aware that Hera would spend days with Echo just talking, disregarding everything around her. So he decided to use Echo to his advantage. Zeus tasked Echo to distract Hera with her talkativeness. So whenever Zeus met with his lovers or when Hera looked into them, Echo would appear before her and distract her with an endless conversation. Even though Echo was able to lure Hera away from Zeus for some time, Hera quickly caught up her true intentions. Angered by it, Hera took her ability to talk and cursed her to only repeat the last few words said by someone else. Echo was no longer useful to Zeus, so she went back to the mountains. She soon went into solitude because she was not able to communicate as usual. Meanwhile, in a nearby city to the mountain where Echo hired herself, there lived a handsome young named Narcissus. Many women lust for him, but Narcissus disregarded them priding himself with his beauty. He was a great hunter too. One day when Narcissus was out hunting with his hunting party, he got separated and lost in the middle of the forest and roamed around Echo's hiding place. On seeing him, Echo instantly fell in love. Because she has no words of her own, Echo was unable to speak, and so she started to follow him. When Narcissus called out for his companions, Echo took the chance to speak and repeated the last few words of Narcissus. He got curious and called after the mysterious person who's repeating his words. With her voice fading, Narcissus realized the speaker is running away. So he chased after her and called out that they should come together. Echo took this to be a reciprocation of her love, and so she delightfully rushed to Narcissus throwing her arms around him. But Narcissus didn't consider Echo to be pretty. He insulted her for touching him and turned away from her, saying that he'd only love a person who is just as beautiful as he is. Hurt by his rudeness, Echo went back to her hiding but continued to follow him. Narcissus came across a pond, and the water was so still that it reflected just as a mirror. On seeing his own reflection, Narcissus fell in love. He was so captivated that he didn't have the ability to walk away from the pond. Unable to say anything to change his mind, Echo watched him wither. Echo's love for him only grew as she watched him, and so she grieved when Narcissus eventually died beside the pond. When Echo finally reached him, Narcissus's body was nowhere to be found, instead a beautiful white flower has bloomed on the place he died. She understood that Narcissus has transformed into the flower. Echo continued to mourn, repeating the last words of Narcissus, and she too eventually died out of grief. Her echoing sound got mixed into the nature, and continued to echo the last words of all men and women. So next time, when you hear an echo, know that it's the sad voice of the nymph who died out of grief, for the loss of her beloved. Let me know your thoughts on this tragic love story. Would very much appreciate if you could like, subscribe, comment and share the video, since it'll help me so much. My Patreon and subscribers, thank you so much for your amazing support. I hope to see you again with another story to tell.